boys and girls, it's Mrs. Williams. I've been thinking about you all weekend. So Bella and Remy and old Max and I are going to read you a little bit of a story. I might not read the whole story. I might just read half and then I'll read the other half later in the week and I'll send it out to people so they can help themselves in this situation. Here we go. The mad family gets their mads out. 50 things your family can say and do to express anger constructively. So you can see in these times when we're all stuck together, we might have a little situation where you might get a little mad at each other. Here we go. I was mad. I saw red. I roared fire. I screamed and stormed, but I was still mad. I was so mad. I blew my top and yelled, I hate you. It's all your fault. I stomped my foot. I ran to my room and slammed the door, but I was still mad and I felt bad. I was mad. I was so mad that I had to hit something. So I punched the wall. I threw my toys across the room, but I was still mad. Besides my hand hurt and I felt really bad. They, oh, they grew bigger and bigger. They grew bigger than I was. I had the big bad mads. Those mads stuck around. They would not go away. Here's the mads, boys and girls. They were very big. The madder I got, the more others got mad back at me. The people in my family were mad too. We were a mad, mad family and I felt sad. My mom said to my dad, we've got to do something about that boy. It seems as if he's mad all of the time. He's just like you. And then they got into a fight about whose fault it was. Then I felt really bad. Mom and dad took me to see a nice lady. It's a case of the mads coming out in the wrong way, said the lady. She explained, everyone has mads. It's okay to get mad, but mads get stuck and then they pop out and get you in trouble. Here, she said, slip on this mad jacket. I put it on. I sagged under the weight. It must have weighed 10 tons. This mad jacket was heavy, heavy. Is that how you feel? She asked, all weighted down. Like there's a heavy weight on your shoulders. You get upset because people are angry at your house. Is that how it is? Heavy? I nodded. Heavy, that's how it felt to be angry all of the time. You might feel like you're ready to blow up, said the lady. Do your jaws get tight and your stomach feels funny and your fists curl up all the time ready to hit? Yow, this lady knew about Mads. Or maybe you go numb and you try not to feel the anger, she asked. Hiding onto bad feelings is like canning worms. You stuff those mad feelings into a can, you push them way down, those cans of worms hide in your tummy. The more you push down, the worse you feel. Those cans get fuller and fuller. Then they get too full and you blow up. You yell or hit someone. And then people get mad at you and you get more mads. Is that right? I nodded again. That's how it was. Yuck, I said, thinking of all those cans of worms in my stomach. The lady asked, when your mom and dad fight, do you feel all scary inside? Maybe you just stand there and listen, frozen and confused. Maybe you get into the fight. Later, when the scared feelings go away, the angry ones come. Then you go hit something, right? Boy, that lady was right. Grown-ups have mads too. Big grown-ups have big mads. Mom and dad had lots of mads. Well, here is what you can do to take care of yourself, she said. Say to yourself, Grown-ups fight. They make up. It's a grown-up problem. It's not my problem. I'll make a good choice. I'll take care of myself. She asked my parents, is it okay if he takes care of himself when you fight? My parents smiled and agreed. This is a safe place to let the mads out. The lady handed me a box of crayons. Draw some pictures when you feel bad inside. So I drew my mads. I made them big and black and ugly. Yep. Those are mads, all right, she said. 
Now let's pound the mads, put them in this clay. So I pounded my mads into that clay. I hit that clay hard. The lady showed me how to make mad noises as I hammered away. I made big mad noises. Now let's play the mads out, she said. Here is a mad snake family. The little snake has lots of mads that he needs to get out. Show me. I shook that little snake and I made it pounce on the big one. The little snake grabbed the big one by the tail and swung it around, crashing it down on the floor. Then I tied the big snake in knots and jumped up and down on it. That's sure a lot of mads, said the lady, and she smiled. It's good to see those mads coming out in a nice, safe place. We can't hurt people. People are not for hurting. You can learn to get the bad feelings out in safe ways. Now, check your tummy. Are there any more mads left? Yep, I'm still mad, I announced. Then talk them out, she said. Talking is the best thing you can do when you're angry. You can learn to tell people about your mads in a nice way. Now, tell me about your mads. So I told her how mad I was when mom said no cookies before dinner. The teacher scolded me for being noisy in a group. My friend Jenny hit me for no reason at all. Dad yelled at me for spilling my milk. Mom and dad were fighting and I couldn't go out and play any old time I wanted. I got a spanking for no reason at all. Well, almost no reason. We practiced talking about the mads. The lady showed me how to tell my mads. She said I could say my mads out loud using a strong, firm voice. She told me to remember to use my words when I was mad. I chose the teddy bear for my teacher. I practiced on her. I feel mad when you scold me for talking in class. So girls and boys, I'm going to stop there because this book is about halfway done and there's lots more advice on what you can do about your mads. But what have we learned so far? You can smash your pillow. You can draw your mads out. You can pound some clay or you can talk your mads out and tell people how you're feeling. Those are some really important good starts on what to do if you feel mad when you're all cooped up inside with your family during this time. Next time I tell you the story, we'll start in the middle and get some more good ideas on what to do when you have those mads inside of you and you don't want to get in trouble or hurt anybody with them. You take care now. Lots of deep breaths. Use your tools and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.